The hominins, which would ultimately evolve into humans, split from chimpanzee ancestors uh, somewhere between five and seven million years ago. And for millions of years, they were only known in Africa, where species such as Sahelanthropus, Ardipithecus, Arwarin, and diverse species of Australopithecines are known. The first member of the genus Homo, Homo habilis, is known only from Africa about two and a half million years ago. Just under two million years ago, hominins for the first time begin to be found outside Africa as well. And in uh, the area of Adiminese, Georgia, uh, from the period of around 1.85 to 1.77 million years ago, there is a population of uh, human remains known uh, with five skulls and a number of postcranial elements and thousands of tools. These uh, specimens represent either the earliest uh, members of our uh, group outside Africa or one of uh, the earliest. The skull was larger than that of the Australopithecines and Homo habilis, but smaller than that of later Homo erectus. There was not much of a forehead, so the skull had the primitive shape of being low and long. The brow ridges were prominent, and while the arms were primitive, more like Australopithecines, the legs were longer and better adapted for bipedal locomotion. Thus, this a group of specimens have a mix of features observed in Australopithecines, Homo habilis, and Homo erectus. While some classify these specimens as a subspecies of Homo erectus, Homo erectus georgicus, others classify them as their own separate species, Homo georgicus.